Okay, just, just sit there. Hey, before we get too far in this video, if you would like to comment, like, and subscribe, welcome back to the Indian Days video. We're going to be taking a look at a kind of a older thing that was produced a long time ago, but it is the Ertl Diesel 10. And as you can see, mine's had some roughness throughout the years. I bought this off of eBay, and so this thing had a full life of apparently some blue substance of something and a bunch of crap. So, either way. <laughs> Either way, I just kind of wanted to do like a little short mini review on this thing just to kind of see how that did because I need content. Uh, this is also in the back because I figured we could compare it to this thing just as well. Just sit there. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the amazing detail on this thing. The detail on this thing is honestly really good. There's just so much little detail, even if it's not painted in, which most of the detail is painted in, it's just there's so much on the side to look at. And I like the size of it. Like, compare it to this one. Now, this one looks long, but like when you compare it to Thomas, they're not like extremely long. This thing, if you compare it, is like it's there's a big difference, which is what you want because this is a big diesel, and I think it just the longer form factor makes it look more intimidating. And I love the paint job on this, I love all the speckles and stuff in it, it just it looks cool. And if you look on the back, these are the front on the different sides, so these are actually different. Uh, what do you want to call it? Different ways. So they go different ways, they don't go the same way, so it's not just a copy and paste, they had to do a little bit of effort to copy and paste it face I like, but I think it's metal. If it's metal, then I don't like it because I hate when these have metal faces because then they get chipped and they just don't look as good. But if this is plastic, then heads up, it's... It's metal, I think. I think it's metal because you can tell kind of right there. But anyway, the face does look very good. And then the buffers and the wheels, all of that looks fairly good. I'm not sure if this is the exact accurate wheel set that he's supposed to have, but I don't care. Again, more just great detail on the top. Very good, and I love the detail on the back. Just look at There's so much detail on this thing. This thing's very good. Except the claw. Now, the claw, they can't, nobody can get the claw right. Even when it moves and stuff, it's very weak and pathetic and very hard to find. So this, honestly, for me, is probably one of the best claws that you can get easily for Diesel 10. So if you want a big form factor, get this. I do definitely recommend it. This claw is kind of stupid, but it's better than the one rolling one that literally just does that. I would have preferred if it at least like slung around like the take and play one did. But overall, I have to say that like this is pretty good. And what you can do is you can take the claw off. Just pop the clean. Mm. If you pop the claw off, you have a really nice Diesel 10 and just make your own little claw. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do that over the years. Um, Troublesome Junction. He did that. Uh, Link, that was a good video. You should go watch that. But overall, I have to say that I give this a good 7 out of 10. If the claw moved, I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. But overall, even the claw, even though it doesn't have move, has great detail. So if maybe if they just made it a little bit more color changed and moved, I would totally give this a great, just overall, just a good rating. But overall, I still think this is good. And if you can find it for a good price on eBay or wherever you shop at your toys things, I would definitely recommend buying this because it's overall worth the price. Anyway, until next time, if you did, anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please come on, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.